This one's going to be on a defragging tool for Linux, and I believe this only works for ext4 extensions. But anyways, this is the tool that we're going to use. E4 defrag. Right. Uh, they do have two flags in here, or two options um, here. They do have a dash C and a dash V. Uh, dash V just prints out the error message and, and all that. Dash C is um, basically they give you a, a score and this is how you would check if your drive or your folder needs to be defragged. Uh, not that hard here. In most cases, you don't need to defrag, but let's let's just uh, do this and see what we get here. So first of all, let's list out our drives that we have here. And what is this command really? DF. Okay, so DF dash uh, lowercase h capital T. This is the command I'm using here. And you can see that um, we have a couple of ext4 drives here. This one, this one, this one, and this one, right? So this one is my root folder where my you know operating system relies on there. Um, and this one's just my external drives. I got three of them here, and they're all ext4. So perfect. We're gonna use uh, one of those. Now the first thing you want to do is check it if it actually needs to be defragged. And so that's what we're gonna do here. We do uh, e4 defrag, and we do a cat was a dash c that we have, and this one just checks to see if that uh, drive or um, you can actually input was a, a partition, a drive, a folder, or different paths if you want. So for example, if I want to do um, this partition here, right, I can just paste that in here, and I'll check it. Uh, We'll see here. Let's see how long this takes. There you go. Right. So I'll check it, and it'll give you like a little summary. So right here, it'll list out like um, currently there's five of them. They'll list you like five, usually five files, just uh, for example size. And at the bottom here, um, they give you like a little summary. So for example, they give you your score. Fragmentation uh, score is zero. And the what's that? What's the number means? Is zero to thirty means no problem. Thirty one to fifty five it means little defrag. Uh, fifty six or higher that means um, you need to defrag. And so it says uh, this device uh, does not any does not need to be defragged and all that. Right. That's it. That's all you know. Uh, basically, you have this um, the score here is zero. You don't need to do shit. Um, so that's how you check if your drive or your partition or your path needs to be defragged or not. Now, uh, let's see, give you another example here. So that one was zero, right? Let me give you an example of one that's, you know, actually has a number here. We'll do the same thing, but we'll do it for my root folder here. And this one takes a little bit longer because I'm actually using it. Actually not. Okay, so you see that our fragmentation score is at three now, and it's still, um, you know, under what we really uh, would be in the, the danger zone, which is uh, 56 and higher. Uh, so even though I was using that a lot, you see that the fragmentation score is very low. That's the reason why people say that you don't need to defrag on Linux because it actually takes care of it for you. Uh, for the most part on Windows um, I'm not sure if they changed it but usually you know people worry about defragging on Windows on Linux uh, when they say yeah you don't need to defrag and this is really what they mean is that uh, most of the time you don't need to do shit it does it automatically for you already but uh, you know whatever now that's to check uh, if your drive needs to be uh, or your score you know if you need to be uh, defragged or not. Now, if you actually want to defrag your system, this is uh, how you would do it here. So this is the command we ran earlier. The only difference is that you get rid of the dash C here because we don't want to check it. We actually want to do it now. And then it'll, you know, go and defrag your system here, right? So on and so forth. Now this can take a long process depending on your drives and all that. So I'll cancel out of this here. And that's what it looked like when you're defragging, uh, real simple. And once you're done, you know, oh, clean it and all that.
Uh, so what do you need to install? Obviously you need to install the E4 defrag. Let's see what um, package it owns that. E4 defrag. This one is owned by uh, E2FS Pros here. So make sure you install this program. And I believe, let's see what's in here. I think, yeah, okay, see. They do have other programs in here. So it's like a bundle. And I believe this one is a, one second. Yeah, it is a, uh, you know, core, a core file for your system. Uh, so I believe it's installed by default already, but if it's not, you need to install um, E2FS Probes and you'll have that uh, package for E4 defrag. And like I said, um, I believe it only works on EXT4 extensions. So if you're using like EXT2 or 3, I'm not sure if it actually works with that. Uh, you might have to use some other tools for that, but EXT4 is kind of like the standard on Linux right now, so uh, make sure you use that. Anyways, that's defragging on your Linux machine. Not really, but if you wanted to and you want to make sure, that's how you do it. That's it for this one.